There are very many stories to tell of Ronald Reagan, one of the most celebrated American presidents. And uh, one story he says he learned decision making early in his life. An aunt had taken him to a cobbler to have a pair of shoes made for him. And in those days, the shoemaker would always ask, Do you want a square toe or do you want a round toe? And Reagan hemmed and hoed. He did not know what he wanted. He didn't make a decision. So the cobbler decided, you come back in two days or so and then tell me what you want. A few days later, this shoemaker sees Regan on the streets and asks, so have you decided? Regan says, I still haven't made up my mind. So very well, said the shoemaker. When Regan received the shoes, he was shocked to see that one shoe had a square toe and the other had a round toe. So he said, looking at those shoes every day taught me a lesson. If you don't make your own decisions, somebody else will make them for you. The sovereign God has given us an opportunity to make decisions because we are not puppets. We are not robots. Think of if you were a robot, as in if you don't, didn't have control over the decisions that you could make in your life. Imagine that kind of a life. You wouldn't even be a human being. You would be a robot. And so in the podcasts, we have been discussing, we started yesterday discussing this series, mini-series on decision-making and making choices. And today I want us to talk about one major issue in decision-making that is going to be important in the kind of life that you're going to live, you and I. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. If you ever met someone who doesn't have the power to make decisions i can always guarantee you this that you're going to look down on them you're going to consider them as probably inconsequential in life why because the human being one of the gifts we were given one of the things that describe who we really are internally it is the power the confidence the courage we do have to make a decision it is an opportunity for us all of us we have this chance this is how we are created. We have this chance to be able to make decisions, to say yes, to say no, to say wait, to say I will think about it. But we do make a decision. And we saw in the previous podcast that it is in the moment of us making decisions that our destinies are shaped. My destiny is as a result of different decisions that I have made in my life. In the year 2010 or 20, 2009, thereabouts, I was on this quest making a decision about the kind of life that I wanted to live. I wanted to lead a life of purpose. I wanted to know what it is that I was born to do. And so I went on this quest and at the end of the day, I formed a company called Life Signatures. And the story behind Life Signatures being formed, you can find it on episode number one here on this podcast. But I can tell you today 
that the kind of life I'm living today is directly connected, directly connected to that decision that I made that particular day. I can't remember which day it was, but it was in 2010 where I decided I'm going to start a company called Life Signatures. It wasn't even a company, by the way. It was a blog. I went to blogspot.com and I created Life Signatures and I started blogging. I started writing things to do with purpose. I started writing things to do with productivity. I started writing things to do with personal development. And my life has been shaped by that decision even up to today. Today, Life Signatures is being listened to in more than 64 countries in the entire world. Nearly 10,000 people, 10,000 downloads have been made on the messages of Life Signatures. There are more than 100 employees under Life Signatures. And the same message about the potential of the human, about the productivity of the human, about the personal development of the human, the same message about purpose, it is the same message that is being reverberating. That is the same thing that I'm using. Every time you make a decision, the rest of your life is going to fall in line either to support you on that decision. And for the most part, life normally falls in line to support a decision. You make a decision for something or you make a decision against something. The rest of life, events, people, resources, capital, you name it. They will fall in line commensurate to the decision that you have made. And so decision making is one of the biggest gifts that we were ever given in this life. It's one of the biggest arsenals that we have to shape the destinies that our lives are going to take for the rest of our lives. So my question to us today is this. What decision have we made? There could be big decisions and today we're going to talk about that. Or there could be small decisions which we are also going to talk about. But whatever the case, whatever decision it is, whatever it is that you have decided in your life, that life is shaped by that particular decision. You decide to go to the left, everything in life revolves around the left. You decide to go to the right, everything in your life supports that particular decision. It is absolutely interesting that life follows decisions. And so if you find yourself as a human being who is not making decisions, what you're doing is that you're not giving feedback. You're not giving fodder to life. You're not giving life the avenue through which it can either support you or give you things that can come and up you and, you know, give you pillars and give you momentum in the direction that your life is supposed to take. If you do not decide for purpose, purpose doesn't come your way. If you do not decide for productivity, productivity doesn't come your way. If you do not decide for righteousness, righteousness doesn't come your way. If you do not decide for wealth, wealth doesn't come your way. Life is not arbitrary. I think in one of these episodes, one of these series we discussed, we were talking about shining your light and things like that. We discussed and we say that growth is not necessarily something that is automatic. Growth is something that has to be put effort on. Shining your light has got to be something that you put your effort on it. But on the contrary, regression is automatic. It is on autopilot. You don't do anything to regress. The same thing with decision making. Decision making is not something that comes arbitrarily. You've got to be intentional about it. And if you have made a decision for something, then life has fodder to feed on. There is now an avenue through which you can be supported. There is now a direction that you can be identified with. And there is an aura of you being in control. You cannot be in control if you're not making decisions. Look at the guys who are in prison. Are they in control? Of course, at some level, they are not in control of their lives because someone else is making decisions for them. So when it comes to your life that someone else is making decisions for you, guess what? You are not in control. 
Remember the story of Ronald Reagan where someone else made a decision for him about his shoes because he couldn't make a decision. He wasn't in control of that. And guys, by the way, power is commensurate to decision making. The most powerful person on the face of the earth makes the most decisions. Big decisions, small decisions, consistent decisions. So if you wanted to emasculate yourself, if you wanted to become the most useless, the most powerless human being on the face of the earth, guess what you need to do? Don't make decisions. Just sit there. And the problem is when you do that, life honors you and recognizes that you've chosen not to participate you've chosen not to be in control you've chosen basically not to live not to be alive and so life doesn't give you anything it doesn't give you opportunities doesn't give you this doesn't give you that doesn't give you any kind of support what do you need the support for because you're not making any decisions and so if you're going to be a productive human being if you're going to be a man or a woman of purpose if you're going to be a resilient human being there's got to come alive a point in time in your life that you draw a line in the sand and you make a decision stand for something be known for something you know even in your own heart you just know that today i have made a decision to do x y and z tomorrow i have made a decision to do x y and z this week there's a decision for this this month there's a decision for this this year there's a decision for this and that's why coaches normally talk about goal setting the si unit by the way of personal development is normally goal setting Make a decision. Goal setting is basically making a decision and putting a time frame on it and saying, I'm, I'm going to write a book. I'm writing a book in 2010. I'm writing a book in 2020 about this and this and that. And that book is going to be out by April. That's a decision. The moment you start making decisions, life is ordered. If you wanted momentum in your life, there's got to be decision making. If you wanted productivity in your life, there's got to be decision making. If you wanted to break away from bad bad behavior, you've got to make a decision for it. If you wanted to know what your purpose in life is, there's got to be a moment of decision making. Tony Robbins told us that it is in the moment of decision making that your destiny is shaped. And so, I want us to continue in this podcast today, and I want us to see, uh, we're going to talk about the different types of decisions that you can make. And I've said that you've got to be in control of your life. Look at your life today for a minute. Ask yourself, who is making decisions for you? That person is the one who is in charge. So do you want to be in charge of your life? And if you are someone who is underage, uh, under 18 and so on, of course, you will be making decisions about your life, but you are overly under someone who is guiding you, who is leading you, who is, you know, having an oversight over your life. And probably you might not be fully in control because you're not an adult. But if you are an adult and someone else is making decisions for you, guess what? You haven't grown up. You understand what I'm saying? You are not in control. Someone else is making decisions for you and probably they are not good decisions. Is it your boss who is making decisions for you? Is it your spouse who is making decisions for you? Is it your mother? Is it your in-laws who are making decisions for you? There are many stories about that, but I'm I'm, I'm not going to digress about in-laws. But the moment you are not making a decision, you are not in charge of your life. If you wanted your life to be productive, to be purposeful, to be deep, to have some kind of direction, then you've got to go to the driver's seat. You've got to ascend the throne of decision making in your life and start making some decisions. In an instant, we said in yesterday's podcast that in an instant, a man can decide. A man can decide in an instant to be better. And the rest of life, the rest of life, everything around that man's life is going to change to support that decision. Probably I don't have stuff because I haven't made a decision about the stuff. But the moment you start making a decision, you are ordering life around. And so today I want us to see What type of decisions can you be making? I mean, what kind of life can you be living in terms of decision making? And the first thing that I'm going to deal with today is make big, audacious decisions. And I'm speaking to myself. We have this 
way that sometimes you can allow fear, fear of the unknown, fear of failure, fear of stretching, just to rule over us, and we make these lousy, small decisions. You find a man or a woman being in the presence of God Almighty himself, and this person is making prayers to God, the maker of heaven and the maker of earth, the one who said, let there be and there was. And you find someone whimpering and making some kind of prayer that it's a joke before God. Why? Because there is this inferiority complex, there is this fear, and you feel like maybe you're not loved, and maybe you, you're stretching, maybe you're being selfish, and so you don't make this big prayer, you don't ask for huge stuff. And the same thing with the decision making in our lives. We need to make big decisions, big breaks. Life is going to be moved. Life is going to happen to the degree of the bigness, so to speak, or the hugeness, or the largeness of our dreams. Frankly, it is big decisions that will create milestones in our lives. If you look at your life, for example, today, look back. What big decision have you made? By the way, every time we talk about rites of passage, you can look back, something happened, a decision was made, either for you or you did make the decision yourself. A big decision, something momentous. If you look at your life, probably the day you got married, big decision. Probably the day you decided to leave office and go and start your own business, big decision. How many big decisions are you making in your life? How risk how how risk averse are you? It is big decisions that will create milestones in our lives. Remember that a big decision does not mean that all the action, I mean everything that you need to do, that everything is on you to bring to fruition the decision that you've made. Probably you've made a decision. you written on the line, drawn a line on the sand and you've decided, I am going to be a wealthy person. That is a decision. It's a major decision. Okay, now wealthy is relative. Let me just use a bigger example. You've made a decision that you're going to build a general hospital in your village. That's a big decision. All right? The thing is that you are not the only activator. You are not the only one. It is not on you alone. Because life, the way life operates, remember that quote. Remember when we said that when a man makes a decision, everything in the environment normally conspires to make the decision to be aligned and that decision to become come to fruition. A big decision might be affected by small actions. It might be affected by by small little actions here and there. But it is a big decision. The problem is that we have small decisions. Yeah? And then we have small actions. Someone said our problem is not that we don't decide. Our problem is not that we don't aim high. Our problem is not that we don't set goals. Our problem is that we set goals so small and we hit them. He said our problem is not that we don't make big decisions, big goals, big aspirations, big desires, and we miss. No, our problem is that we make small, many small decisions and we hit them on point every now and then. So we need to come to that level that we need to decide something. And by the way, this decision is not something that you got to get it out of a textbook, out of of a dictionary, out of a cyclopedia. No. It is within your heart. Within your heart, there are some big things that you want to do. It's just that you don't have the courage to dare and to announce to the universe that, guess what? This is what I am going to be known for. This is where I stand. Huh? And you are afraid of that. 
you need you know it is it is within your heart it is within your spirit you need to be courageous enough and stake put your stake on the ground and say this is where i stand ladies and gentlemen from now on i've made a decision to be to inspire hope and to enrich lives worldwide and i'm going to build universities across the earth i'm going to start a podcast i'm going to write a book i made a decision i made a big decision to be available worldwide courage to make the big decisions is what we need. I think the greatest impediment of making big decisions has always been fear. Fear of failure. Fear stems from having no information, by the way. Huh? You don't have information about building hospitals, so you're afraid to make that decision anyway. You don't have information about building like I want to build life signatures universities across Africa. Maybe I don't have information about it and so I'm afraid to make that decision. And so I keep vacillating and so on and so forth. You having no information or having wrong information sometimes is that's what is going to cause the fear. Probably you're getting your information from the wrong places. For uh, for us we can never be rich. That is wrong information. We are blacks. We are in Africa. We can never give towards helping the universe to become a better place. We are in Africans. Wrong information. And that's why we don't make big decisions. Or no information. And that's why we make these small decisions. Okay? So like we said, one of the purest places ah, that you can find this good information for which you can decide to make a big decision. It is in your heart. Why? Because the divine put that decision within you. See, God is not going to decide for you. God is not going to decide. Nobody is going to decide for you. Nobody is going to pull the trigger. You are the one who has the power, the control to pull the trigger of the things, the big things that you desire to bring to fruition, the big things that you desire to do, to have to be... It is up to you. Why? Because it is in your spirit. You are the one who knows. It is in your heart. You are the one who knows about that project. You are the one who knows about that thing you want to do about public speaking. It is you who knows. It is in your heart. You are the one who knows. You are the one who knows. You are the one who has the purpose, the passion for it, the desire for it, the wish. It is in your heart. For that big decision, it is in your heart. Maybe you want to make a big house, build a big house. It is in your heart. It is not in your mama's heart. It is in your heart. It is in your unique heart. Look in there. Look therein. And make a decision that will make you come alive. Serving your purpose. Someone said, the reason as to why I'm so successful is because I set myself on fire and people come watch me burn. This was a preacher some time back. But you see, it is up to you to make that big decision. And I'm speaking to myself, when is the last time we really made some huge, big, audacious decision that just made us to sweat a little bit? Uh, Just to be shaken to the core, but excited at the same time. The quality of our lives are going to be commensurate to how many big decisions we are making and how often are we making these big decisions. Decide about your finances. Big decision. Decide about your relationships. Big decision. Decide about your vocation, your work, your purpose. A big decision. And how often do we make these big decisions? Without having to make these big decisions, ladies and gentlemen, what we're doing is that we are not expanding our purpose and we are not cultivating our potential that has been put inside of us. We will never know the extent of our huge potential if we do not make big decisions. And I've quoted Bob Marley very many times. He said, sometimes you have no clue how tough you are until being tough is the only option that you have. And sometimes we wait until we are pushed against the wall so that we can make that big decision. You're always smoking every single day. And then the doctor calls you and tells you, guess what? The test we did last time shows that you are going to develop cancer in the next few days. Guess what you're going to do? You're going to make that decision very fast. But you see, 
we are not making these big decisions because we are cozy, we are comfortable, everything is in place. We are not motivated hard enough to make that decision. But if we can bring ourselves yeah, to force ourselves to make this big decision in life, I'm telling you, chances are that our lives will start altering for the better. Without decision making, you are not in control. Without decision making, you are not growing. Without decision making, you can never know the extent of the potential that God put inside of you. Without decision making, you might not even be living a life of purpose. Without decision making, you might not become useful into the face of the earth. But with making big decisions, all these things start coming into place. You making a big decision, you become someone who is in charge of your life. You become alive. You make a big decision, you start pushing to the extent of where your potential is. To push beyond your limits. Because you made a huge decision. And you start realizing what you've been made up of. Alright? So decision making is one of the biggest things that we need to do in our lives. If we're not making these decisions... In our lives, we are wasting this life. So we're going to continue tomorrow with the same thoughts about choices. What choice are you going to make today? What big choice are you going to make this week? What big choice are you going to make this year? It is going to shape your destiny. Thank you for listening and bye-bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.